this screencast is to help you better understand how to use Google Sites. In order to use Google Sites, it's as simple as logging into your Google Drive. So you want to start here. The best way to access that once you've logged into your Chromebook is uh, to go down to the, bottoms, uh, the bottom of your screen and click the Drive icon. Otherwise, you could always just go to google.com, click on the Waffle app, and select Drive. Once you're in Google Drive, you will want to start a site by clicking on New. When you click on New, you will notice that you have a lot of options available to you. Um, you will want to select more, and from that list, select Google Sites. That will open up a Google Sites window and tab for you. So as this loads, Google Sites is an opportunity to create a really good website for yourself that you can publish and share with uh, other collaborators or to share with your teachers for assignments. Once this loads, I'll show you what the interface looks like. It's pretty, uh, pretty basic. All right. So... Here, you want to first title your site. Since you're going to be creating a site that is for yourself, you would want to call it your name. So I'm going to put here my first initial and my last name, and then I'm going to type in the um, class and period number. So you'll want to do that similarly. Then you will create your own page title. For the sake of this particular activity, you'll, this is going to be an about me page. So we're going to call it about me. Now, once you've done that, you have options over here on the right hand side of the screen. Your options include creating text box, images, you can embed um, you know, video and other uh, types of embeddable things. For example, if you want to embed music from say Spotify or anything like that, you can do that this way. And of course you can embed items from your Google Drive. So if you want to share um, files that you've created, you can do that. Here you have your layouts feature. Your layouts allow you to decide how you want your um, particular site to look. Play around with that and figure out what works best for you. Down here, you can also create collapsible text, table of contents, an image carousel if you want to show a number of images. Um, you can create buttons and dividers. Plus, you can also insert YouTube, Google calendars. You can create a map of locations. You can sub, And then all of these here are your different types of Google Docs that you have access to that you can also put on the screen. So let's start by just creating a quick layout. For the sake of the activity that you're about to embark upon, you're going to um, be creating an About Me page. And in this one, there are a couple of things that you're going to want to do. Number one is you're going to want to put a picture of yourself. And so, um, so here, as you can see, we can then select an image um, by upload. I'm going to use a screen avatar for myself using my Bitmoji um, extension here. And so I like Bitmoji a lot because it's a fun one. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click on this one. Oh, I don't know if it'll... Um, okay, I can save it. Once that image saves, I can now go ahead and put that in here by clicking on this. I will upload. It will open up my downloads folder. And then I will just look for my Bitmoji. Oh, I'm not seeing it, but I already have one here, so we'll just use that one. All right. So with that said, then all I have to do is I have to create a biographical paragraph of myself. So my biographical paragraph would begin by me basically saying something like, my name is Jeremiah. And then in this text here, I will start writing my biographical paragraph. Um, in the biographical paragraph, you can talk about anything, uh, where you're from, where you were born, how old you are, what your interests are, hobbies, all of those things. Anything that you think is fit to print. Think of it like you're writing a book and this is your book jacket cover and this is what you want the world to know about you. Then you will create links to websites, videos, and things like that that express your interest. So what we can do now is we can now add a text box. And you can size that text box by grabbing the, the blue dots and it gives you this nice grid. So if you want to create the size of it, you can do it like this. And then from there, you can now call it something. So links and um, other interesting things I like. All right. 
And then from there, you can go and grab stuff. You can find all sorts of things that you want. So if you go to, you know, you like something off of YouTube, you can always go on YouTube and grab a video um, and you can create a link there. Um, as you can see, when you, uh, when you do this, you can add links just by simply putting your, uh, oh, by a, up here at the top. So if I click on this, it'll create a pop-up box and I can insert a link like this. So if I don't want my website to show, I can always just click on the insert link and put something in. So let's say I wanted to link the classroom to that one. I could copy my link from there, go back to my uh, thing, you know, to, to my uh, site, click insert link, and I can just paste my link in there and click apply. And then you'll notice it highlights it. So now you know that it's a linkable text. So that's one thing that you can do with that. You'll also need to create contact information for yourself, again, by just clicking on text box and adding things. You can also add other images. You can add other stuff you want. It's your page. Be as creative as you'd like. If you want to change things like your image for your header, you can always click on your header and click on change image and you can upload images or select from Google's um, gallery. You can also fix your header type and, and uh, do something different. You can make it larger, title only. You can create it like a cover. Um, there are lots of different choices you have on this one. So with that said, this is just a good starter screencast. Hopefully it's been of uh, help for you. If you need any additional support with this, feel free to email me at jeremiah underscore Dollins at cjusd.net, or you can go into the Google Classroom um, and the syllabus to be able to get that link directly.